Okay, 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 okay. Hi everyone, my name is Ollie and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I've got far too much coffee in me. I've had about six coffees today. And it's currently quarter past six in the evening. Let's start the day. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Ollie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a... In today's video, we are doing a travel must-haves video. So... Girl... Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like being so weird. Hi everyone, my name's Ollie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a 10 top travel must-haves video. So, originally I was supposed to be filming this because I was due to go to Greece for my 21st birthday. Actually, I was supposed to be flying on the day that this is being posted, which is so depressing. Obviously, with everything going on in the world right now, travel is completely off the cards, so that holiday did have to be cancelled. So I thought, you know what, I'm not letting this video go to waste. I still think it's going to help people eventually when we're allowed to travel again at some point. So I thought, you know, whilst I've got all my sun cream out and all of my travel stuff, because I was supposed to be travelling, um, why not still just make the video and I can post it and then in six months or a year's time when we're all allowed to go on planes again It'll be helpful to someone hopefully. So like I said there are ten items we're going to discuss today ooh. And I, ooh. The first thing on the list is going to be of course sun cream so unless you are traveling to I don't know Antarctica you are gonna need sun cream. I'm so fussy with sun cream. I've tried a million and one different suntan lotions and this is by far my favorite. This is my absolute ride or die sun cream. I'm in love with this stuff. I'm probably gonna get like a million skincare specialists commenting saying that this is awful for your skin or something, but um, I absolutely love this. So, oh my God, that takes me back. So this is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration in that factor. Factor 30. Now you know normally when you use a sun cream it has that awful smell, it feels sticky and it just leaves like a horrible residue on your skin. This does none of that, so this acts almost like a moisturiser, it adds a little bit of sheen and shimmer to your skin but you can't even feel it once it's soaked in. It's really nourishing and it smells absolutely amazing. If you love really tropical and sweet smells, you will love this. Now I'm pretty sure I picked mine up on Amazon and they weren't very expensive. I think they were like either six or eight pound for a bottle, which I don't think that's that's not a lot of money really, like suntan lotion in general is around that sort of price. So I first found this when I was going um, to Florida last year, which was my last holiday that I went on, um, and I bought loads of this stuff. I was absolutely addicted. So I love the entire Hawaiian Tropic range. Um, so that's my main sun cream that I used. When I went last, I also picked up this one, which is their BB cream which is actually like a tinted sun cream. So this one is a factor 30 as well. And it also smells amazing. So this was amazing because I could put this on in the morning and it would stay all day, give me really nice coverage, give me some really, really good color, but it's also gonna be protecting. So I absolutely loved this one for the face. And then the other things that I love from the Hawaiian Tropic range are the After Sun products. So this is the Hawaiian Tropic Body Butter. Everybody raves about this. If you watch other YouTubers, they all rave about this every summer. They will crack this out. This is such an amazing product. Whether you've been in the sun or not, this is a really, really enjoyable product to use. It's really thick and creamy, but the smell, oh my God, the smell. It's just, 
It's similar to the um, the coconut body butter from Body Shop, but it's like a bit more tropical. The feeling of it on your skin is really, really nourishing and rich, but it still feels quite light and it doesn't go greasy. This is honestly like such an amazing product. And like I said, even if you haven't been in the sun, it's such a good body moisturizer. This is the last thing by Hawaiian Tropic. This is the Air Soft Silk Hydration After Sun. This one is amazing. The scent is like, this is my favorite out of all of them. It's so fresh and fruity and vibrant. It's absolutely stunning, but this is so cooling. So the body butter is nice because it's really moisturizing, but this one has lots of cooling effects. So if you are actually have sunburn, this one is really good. The only thing I would say about the entire Hawaiian Tropic range is that if you have sensitive skin, it might not be for you. It is very, very heavily fragranced. So if fragrance is something that you react with, I wouldn't recommend it because my boyfriend reacted to this really, really badly and I had to get him some separate sun cream whilst we were on holiday because this was all I packed so if your skin is okay with fragrance and not particularly sensitive then go for it but if you have sensitive skin probably avoid that one sorry if you can hear any noises in the background my boyfriend has just started playing Xbox so if you hear controller sounds like then that's why. So the second thing on my list is obviously fake tan. So if you have watched my channel for any length of time, you will know that I'm an absolute fake tan addict. The only reason I don't have tan on today is because I'm just giving my skin a little break just for a week um, because I do tan all the time literally at least every week if not twice a week i will have a tan on so if you haven't already seen it i will link my tanning video above my head now in that video i talk about all of the different products and methods i use for tanning usually i have a spray tan obviously we're in isolation at the moment so i'm using a mousse and this is the one that i will actually take on holiday whenever i travel but this is the Simmeritz dark five in one mousse and this is honestly my go-to tanning mousse it's amazing value for money goes on really easy gives you an amazing in color super cheap you literally can't go wrong with this obviously if you're going in swimming pools and stuff the chlorine is just like stripping your tan so it's important to take something to top that up with so I always take this and usually I take some gradual tanners and stuff like that as well okay so the next thing on my list is actually a set of travel scales I didn't even know these existed until I found them on Amazon literally a tiny set of scales you just slot them in your suitcase or in your carry-on and basically you just loop this through your bag handle you just lift up your bag with this and it will say the weight on there all of the products mentioned in today's video will be linked down below where I can find them I did buy this a couple of years ago on Amazon and I believe it was like seven pound but seven pound to have this sort of thing for life is like a no-brainer to me think of all the money that you're gonna save yourself by making sure your bags are balanced out correctly so yeah, that is one of my top things that I will always take when I travel is a little bag scale. So the next thing on my travel list is a planner or a diary. So I keep a planner anyway. This keeps me in check, make sure I'm doing all of what I need to do during a week. So I always keep a planner every week anyway. But even if you don't normally keep a planner or a diary, I think it's really important to take one with you when you travel. That way you can always document anything that you do whilst you're there. You can plan your days out and things like that and I think especially if you're going on a holiday where you have stuff to do so for example when we went to Florida I was planning out all of our days because you have a lot of things that you're trying to get done whilst on that holiday so I think um, a planner or a diary is really really important to take away with you just so that you can make sure you preserve all of those memories and that you're actually able to really make the most of your time whilst traveling the next thing on my list isn't really an essential but it's something I always like to take especially if I'm going somewhere warm so this is a magic mist illuminating setting spray from Technique. Now you don't have to use this exact one obviously but in general I like to always take a shimmer mist with me when I go away. So if you're going somewhere sunny it's really nice if you're sunbathing or you're going out for a dinner you just really want to have that nice glow. A shimmer mist is a wonderful way of achieving that. I love putting a shimmer spray on myself when I finish getting ready when I'm on holiday. I feel like the sun especially at sunset just really picks up on all the glistening bits and you just feel really glowy and healthy and fresh so this is obviously a setting spray for your face but I have sprayed this all over my hair and face and body
body and clothes and everything before just to really feel like I'm glowing from every angle um, and I just absolutely love this stuff so this is a really really great one because it's got a super fine mist sometimes I find the glittery mists can be really chunky I will try and link this one down below but this is just the magic mist illuminating setting spray in gold by technique but yeah this is honestly such a fantastic product um, but I just love taking a shimmer spray away with me on holiday it's such a nice way of just finishing off your look and feeling so glowy and fresh so the next thing on my list is actually a backpack so I always like to take one of the fuel fuel raven fuel for your raven kanken is that what it's called so i always like to take one of these bags away with me now these bags were obviously like super trendy like six months to a year ago um when the whole like visco girl thing was happening everyone was going absolutely insane for these bags i have this bag in three colors so i have it in the black i have it in a bright blue color and i have it in a yellow um the reason i reach for these bags isn't just because they are trendy but it's also because they are super comfortable like really comfortable when they're on your back but they also fold down to essentially nothing so you can fold these so flat and they will just sit in the base of your suitcase I think regardless of the holiday you're going on you can take as many nice handbags and stuff like that as you want but I think it's really important just to have an easy throw around rucksack um, where you're not going to be precious if it gets dirty or damaged and yeah I just think I just, I don't know, I just think it's something that's like an essential. So I definitely recommend these Kankin bags um, for if you're traveling. And I always make sure I take at least one when I travel because they don't take up any space and they are literally weightless. So that's definitely on my list. Okay, so the next thing on my list is actually a first aid kit. Now, I don't have one here to show you today, um, but I always make sure I take a mini first aid kit whenever I go traveling. The amount of times I've been caught out when I'm away without something that I've needed and it's just such a hassle to try and get hold of it. Pretty much anywhere in the world you're going to be able to get things like plasters, bandages, paracetamol if you need to but I just think it's easier to take it and then at least you have the peace of mind. But yeah, I always make sure I have all of the relevant anti-sickness tablets and stuff like that because you don't know if you're going to get unwell. It's all the basic things really that you would take for granted until you can't get hold of them. Okay, so the next thing on my list is a bit of a random one. So I always take some bin bags with me when I go on holiday and that sounds a bit weird like why are you taking bin bags on holiday? They don't take up any space or weight in your suitcase but the main reason that I take bin bags with me on holiday is because I like to keep all my dirty washing like separate from all my clean stuff. I think just bagging it in a bin bag just seems like cleaner to me so I always make sure I take bin bags. They're also fantastic for if you're going to like the beach or if you're going um, to like a water park or you just need somewhere to put wet clothes. Um, pop it all in a bin bag and then you don't need to worry about it getting anything dirty, making your suitcase wet, anything like that. So I think a bin bag is just like such a useful thing and it's not going to take up any space or weight so you may as well take some so I always make sure I take some bin liners the next thing I always take with me when I travel is like a travel pack of documents I always make sure I print myself off a really easy to read document pack whenever I travel if you watched my Cuba nightmare story time video if not I will link it up above my head but if you watch that video you will know that that travel pack that I took with me saved my life on multiple occasions so the key things I always make sure I have in my travel pack are all of our insurance details all of the flight details, all of the hotel details, all of the transfer details. Basically just print off absolutely everything that you book. If you need a visa, make sure you have a copy of that. Basically any document that you had to fill out or you had sent to you during booking your holiday, make sure you take a copy of that with you on the holiday. If you have those documents there, the likelihood is you're not going to need them, but it doesn't take much time or effort just to make sure you've taken them with you. So I 100% would recommend you creating yourself just a little travel pack with all your documents to take with you. And then the last thing that I would 
recommend you take when you go traveling is of course your passport. Unless you are just staying within the UK or within your home country, you are gonna need a passport to travel. Now, the reason I've included passport in this, and I know that sounds a bit obvious, like obviously you need your passport to travel, but the reason that I included passport in this list is because I actually have a little life hack that I always do with my passport whenever I'm traveling. So whenever me and my partner travel, we always make sure we take a photo of our passports and we email those photos to each other's email addresses that way if you lose your passport or your phone you are able to access pictures of your passport when you're in that country the reason I always do this is because if you do lose your passport or your phone or any any way that you would be able to show your passport and you can get to your um, your country's embassy in that country it will make it a million times easier for them to get you a replacement passport or an emergency passport or anything like that if you've got photo evidence with all of the details of your old passport on so I think it's really really important to make sure you do that email yourself a photograph of your passport and if possible email it to another traveler who's going with you as well just for safekeeping just to make sure you both have copies of that passport so that is everything that is all 10 of my top 10 items that I would take traveling um some of them were obvious some of them you might not have thought of before so fingers crossed i hope that i maybe helped you a little bit maybe gave you a little bit of travel information for six months time when we're all allowed to travel again so i hope you all enjoyed watching today's video as much as i enjoyed creating it for you if you did enjoy watching today's video please don't forget to leave me a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have any friends or family who you think might enjoy my content please feel free to share it with them if you have any comments or questions regarding today's video please feel free to leave that all down below in the comments section for me don't forget to check out my instagram page i've been super duper active recently on my instagram stories so i'll leave all of the details on the screen now and they will also be linked down in the description box and without further ado i look forward to seeing you all in my next video